So why would you avoid moving to Fort Worth, Texas? Now this video is a highly charged video in our office. We have a real estate team with a location in Dallas and a location in Fort Worth, and there's a little rivalry. Everybody's on the same team, we love each other, but there's a constant discussion about why somebody would choose one versus the other. Now check the rest of our channel for a true video about one over the other. But the reasons that somebody might avoid or choose not to move to Fort Worth, Texas are honestly few and far between. It's a wonderful place to live, but there are clearly reasons that oftentimes people choose not to move there. One of them, which is kind of funny, is that it's often viewed as a much smaller, much more sort of rural city compared to Dallas. Now, Dallas's little brother. <laughs> some people call it Dallas's little brother. Fort Worth folks do not like that label at all. Uh, and oftentimes people looking at it from outside of the market tend to uh, accept that label and therefore don't, don't make a move. So they would avoid it because they feel like it's not as desirable as Dallas. Now look, in some ways that's true, meaning it's not as big of a city. It doesn't offer as many of everything, but that's true for almost every city in the world compared to a city the size of Dallas, Texas. So not necessarily a fair comparison. And in reality, Fort Worth has everything you could ever need and probably 10 of them, but maybe not 30 of them like Dallas does. But that is one of the common reasons we hear, hey, I chose Dallas because Fort Worth's a little bit smaller and it's a little bit slower pace of living. Now, Fort Worth tends to feel that that somewhat slower pace, different energy or vibe, you might call it, is an advantage. But that's another, if you could separate those two thoughts, that's another reason that oftentimes people might avoid Fort Worth is they've heard, been told, or they've seen that label that Fort Worth is a little bit slower, sleepier, less metropolitan. And again, you can find all the metropolitan things you might want in Fort Worth, but it's chosen in a lot of ways, you know, on purpose and just kind of the populace to wear that label of uh, slower, sleepier, more connected, more relational. And, and I think it's done that in response to some of the criticisms of Dallas uh, as, you know, over, you know, exaggerating the metropolitan nature of things. But, you know, there, there's not a lot of other major ones. Bring Ian in. Oh, boy. Here we go. Here we go. Let's uh, talk about parking. What, what I was going to say. Oh, parking. I'm starting. One of the, the worst. One, one the of worst. the complaints, one of the reasons you might not move uh, to Fort Worth is in some parts of Fort Worth, the parking is actually pretty rough because of the rapid growth. Now, I will say this. By really, some parts, you mean most. I will really quickly say the downtown area, Sundance Square, and some other areas have really done a great job with their parking with garages. And as they plan the development there, parking was part of the plan. So it's easier to park downtown Fort Worth than a lot of other downtowns. But, but if I have to go to a coffee shop and I have to park four streets away to go and get my cup of joe, it's a little frustrating. That might have been a very narrow, singular experience that, that Ian had. But there are some really popular stretches of roads where lots of restaurants and bars and nightlife are, and there is some tough parking there. Again, it's totally doable, but that is one of the reasons we hear. Another one that I would say is kind of the highways and road systems around Fort Worth. Once you're inside Fort Worth, it's all right. But around the area, there seems to have been about 30 years of construction, and it's not over yet. So... For a lot of folks, kind of the getting to and getting from Fort Worth can be pretty frustrating. But once you're in the area, and the area has certainly grown uh, to the south, to the north, and to the west, it's always been pretty connected to Dallas, to the east. Um, there's some complaints there about the highways, uh, as well as just general getting to and through and around. Terrible. So, just terrible. Up. Just terrible. All right. You're out of here. Okay. So, yep. Super constructive. Glad to help. As All you right. can tell. Thank you for coming in. You can talk about sports. Most of the reasons that people would avoid moving to Fort Worth are pretty minimal. It's an incredible place to live. But one of the things we hear, it's not entirely accurate, but one of the things we hear is, okay, I'm going to move to Dallas, Fort Worth. I would avoid Fort Worth because all the sports are over in Dallas. Right, which is not true. The, the, the actual Dallas Cowboys are in Arlington, which is, which is directly in the middle of Dallas and Fort Worth. So you're not, you're not missing that. It's the same distance. And then also the Texas Rangers, they're in Arlington. They're across the street from the Cowboys. So our two of our major sports teams are equal distance from Dallas and Fort Worth. So, so Don't it, forget the Dallas Jackals. Uh, <laughs> so if you were to avoid Fort Worth because of major sports, football and baseball, 
right. you would actually find yourself, let's say you chose D- Dallas, you'd find yourself driving to almost the literal exact yes. south central point between the two cities right. to go to those sports. So if you chose Dallas, you would be making the exact same drive you made if right. you chose Fort Worth. Now, it would be true if you <laughs> avoided Fort Worth because of basketball or hockey. Right. Those are in the heart of Dallas, just barely north of downtown, called Uptown, but pretty much downtown. Right. Now, Dallas. if you like the WNBA, they play in Arlington okay. at UTA on Once their campus. Again, so dead center. Right there. What about the uh, AAA Frisco Rough Riders? It's a little closer to Dallas, <laughs> right? NASCAR or IndyCar, yeah. they're in North Fort Worth, the Texas Motor Speedway. So, yep. Yep. and I would even say if you want a good college football game, TCU's in Fort Worth, SMU's in Dallas. You got one of each. Debatable. <laughs> Which is, depending on the the, the year, um, Fort Worth has a ton going for it, right? So some right. of the reasons people would avoid it are fair. That people can av- choose or avoid something for whatever your personal preferences are. We're just trying to help clarify some of the reasons that are true and some that aren't as true. Now, obviously, Fort Worth has chosen to have the reputation of Cowtown, right? So there's cattle drives. um, There's Billy Bob's, which is a big country and western bar that uh, Fort Worth wants to The huge rodeo they have. The the rodeo, the stock show. Yeah, the whole thing. um, Concerts, which are not just country music. But country music concerts are the ones that they probably yeah. publicize the most. Now, people know, hopefully, Fort Worth Zoo and other things are amazing. They there, are. But some of the complaints there, again, are that it's highly niched to this country, right. cowboy, uh, western, southern kind of deal. And if you were looking for more contemporary, new age, some, you know, something like that, then you might legitimately say, look, Fort Worth isn't even trying to be a leader in those areas. Right. So I'm gonna choose Dallas or Houston or some other part of the country. The same can be said about kind of the arts and culture community there. Again, Fort Worth has probably more than their fair share per capita of that, but compared to other cities in Texas, Austin, Houston, Dallas, it may be somewhat accurate to say, again, Fort Worth has chosen to kind of niche itself in a couple of areas. So it doesn't have quite as much opportunity in some of these non-country western traditional um opportunities right right, there are i'm out (laughs) thanks there are others but um fort worth has plenty now there aren't a whole lot more super legitimate complaints or reasons to avoid fort worth texas but um i want to be careful that it's not a total comparison of dallas versus fort worth you know you may be looking at california new york l you know whatever um you know, Nevada, Arizona. But the reality is Fort Worth is a wonderful place to live. It's smaller than Dallas, but it's still one of the largest cities in America. So people might be avoiding Fort Worth for personal preference. The reality is it's an incredible place to live. We've got a bunch of other videos right here on this channel about Fort Worth and comparisons to other cities and what Fort Worth has to offer. Check those out. If you have other questions or comments, leave them below. We are a real estate brokerage in the area. Be thrilled to help you make a decision on where to go. We'll check you on the next video. Take care. Love you, Fort Worth. <laughs>